Hey guys, today I'm here to bring you my review of Raid Season 3, Episode 10, Bruises That Lie. Guys, this episode was so freaking good. Oh my goodness, this episode was so good. So many things happened that I wanted to happen and honestly, now, there were a couple things I wanted to happen that didn't happen, but honestly, I'm okay with it because I was satisfied in pretty much everything else. So first of all, Elizabeth, well, she lost the baby and you know what? I wanted her to lose the baby. I know I shouldn't say that, but I just did. And you know what? This made her realize that she had to end her relationship with Robert Dudley. And I have to say, even though I did not like Dunbeth, I have to say their breakup scene was actually, it was really well shot and well acted. And it was kind of sad in a way. Like, I am happy that Dunbeth is over, but you know what? Their breakup scene was heartfelt and sweet. But with all that happened, I think that Elizabeth is finally going to become the queen I have wanted to see since the beginning of season three, just please, I hope we see the queen that we, all of us fans wanted to see, just, and I'm so excited to see what happens next. It was nice to see Lola again. She barely had any screen time, but I didn't mind it. Charles. Charles was so intelligent with everything that happened with Narcisse and Catherine and Claude and all that. Just, he was so intelligent in this episode. I loved it. I love when characters do smart things. I just love it. I love it so much. The Mary Gideon scenes were fantastic. Basically, Mary ended up finding out that Gideon was sent by Elizabeth to seduce her, and she was like, you know what? We'll think of a plan of, why don't we, you do, will seduce me, and they were, they're basically faking it, but things happened with them, there was some kissing, and like, now I'm like, Gideon is really starting to like her, and I think Mary's really starting to like Gideon, so, yeah. So, and also, yeah, once again, their scenes were great. Also, their once, one scene together, when Mary walked in on Gideon, like, being angry and hitting, hitting things with a sword. Like, the way that scene was shot was really good. And also, this happens to be uh, Megan Follow's directorial debut, and her directing was r really good. It was really solid. Um, it's not, you know, it's not like the most amazing directing I've ever seen, but it was really good for Rain. And bravo, Megan Follows. Hopefully, she has a chance to direct another episode. Maybe she should uh, direct the season three finale. That would be great. So yeah. Oh yeah, all the Claude wedding stuff that ended up being, f uh, it st the storyline started and it ended quickly and it all turned out to be Catherine's scam, her scheme to become the regent and she's finally regent, finally, because it, you know what, it wasn't working out with Narcisse and he was being stupid so even though I love Narcisse I'm glad he's not regent anymore and Catherine needed to be regent hey, but Ka uh, Narcisse is still alive so I'm very happy about that also I'm really happy about him going back to his old self but he didn't take things too far and he's still alive so you know what I am very happy with that also lathe scenes were good the Claude lathe scenes were good I do not ship them as a couple but at the end of the episode, Late said something. He said he's going to marry Claude, and I'm just like, he's going to rise higher and higher, and I'm just like, no, that's not going to happen. Also, Claude had this one scene when her, hus her husband, which that marriage was quickly annulled, beat her, which that was part of Catherine's whole scheme to become regent. Um, she, like, fought back and boxed. I was like, okay, that was the one scene I'm like, really? That was ridiculous. It looked so silly. You know, I'm not... Obviously, I don't approve of domestic violence or anything, but seriously, that scene was really silly and the boxing is way too modern. But I will not hold that against this episode of Rain because it was freaking fantastic. Also, Martin was back and it turns out he is the father of Gur's baby. I was wrong, but you know what? I'm not even that mad that I'm wrong, so yeah. And also, Greer's scenes were really great. Also, there was a Greer late scene in the middle of the episode and it was really good, so... I like 
liked it. Also, no Kristoff in the episode. And yeah, that is one of the things I'm bummed about. Not Kristoff not being in the episode, but not finding out who the killer is. But then again, I think they're saving that for near the end of the season. So... Um, I'm happy with that. So yeah, basically overall this episode was really, really good. Like this is the best episode of season three so far. I'm giving Rain season three episode 10 bruises that lie a 10 out of 10. It was so good. I can't wait to rewatch it. And yeah, I'm really sad that we have to wait till spring for Rain to come back, but it'll come, but by spring that means sometime either in March or April, so yeah, but you know this hiatus is gonna kill me, but I will survive. It seems horrible right now, but I will survive and when rain comes back on, I will forget about it for the most part. So yeah, if you've seen Rain Season 3 Episode 10 Bruises That Lie, tell me your thoughts on it. I'd love to know and yeah, I will see you guys in my next review. Bye!